just telling you why I prefer the Canon R8 to the Canon R7 and it's 100% because of the... What's up guys, Dan Furlani here and welcome back to a new video. Today I'm gonna tell you why I bought my Canon R8, which is filming right now by the way, and whether I'll keep using my Canon R7. Well, I'll start from the beginning. My Canon R6 has been my first camera for a few years now. Then I got the Canon R7 because I tried it at the Canon Summit and I loved it. I've been using it a lot and I enjoyed every single bit of it. frames per second even if it's in 1080 it's good quality And of course, the ability to shoot photos and videos in low light, which is something that not all cameras can do well. However, when working with the Canon R6, using the R7 as a B camera, I never got used to it, not completely. And in the end, I realized that I'd rather use either two crop sensor cameras or two full frames. And since I love my Canon R6 with its pros and cons, I decided to go full frame also for what concerns my B camera. So I was looking for some options that allows me to do all the things I can do with the Canon R6, full frame, of course, in terms of frame rate, and everything but at a more affordable price and this is why I decided to get the Canon R8 so now let's see some of the differences between the Canon R7 and the Canon R8 one is a full frame the Canon R8 and the other no it's a crop sensor camera the Canon R7 if we look at them side by side we notice that the Canon R8 is a little bit smaller not too much But you notice the difference when you use it. The Canon R8 is lighter than the Canon R7 and also than the Canon R6. Another difference, the Canon R7 has IBIS, in-body stabilization. The Canon R8 doesn't have it. Is that a problem? No, not at all. First of all, already have the Canon R6 that has in-body stabilization. And second, not having it, it's never been a problem for me. And also the electronic stabilization of the Canon R8 does a pretty good job. You just get tiny little crop when you shoot with the stabilization enabled. Now, stabilization off. Now, stabilization on. Of course, if you use the enhanced stabilization, it crops quite a bit. Enhanced stabilization on. The colors I get out of both cameras are just great. And I have to admit, after using the Canon R8 for a few days, a week or something, I can already say that I prefer the quality of the Canon R8.
maybe it's something personal, but when I look at the footage shot on the Canon R7 and one shot on the Canon R8, the Canon R7 seems a little bit too, I don't know, not too sharp, but its sharpness seems a little bit artificial, like digital. Not much, but that's something I noticed, that's something I can see. So I prefer the Canon R8. And by the way, yes, the main reason why I decided to get another full frame camera is because, for example, for my YouTube videos, I use it here in this room and it's quite large, but it's not huge by no means. And the difference is if I use a full frame, if I want to use a 35 millimeters, in this case, the RF 35 millimeters F 1.8, this is what I see on a full frame camera. I get this field view and this depth of field, but if I use it on a crop sensor camera like the R7, this is what I get. And as you can see, it's pretty much cropped in. And if I want to be framed more or less the same way, in this case, I can't move the camera any farther because there is the window and the wall there. So I would have to move like a few steps back, frame myself decently. And of course, I wouldn't get the same depth of field than when shooting on a full frame camera. And I would have to adjust the lights too. There's nothing wrong with the Canon R7 or with crop sensor cameras in general. But for me, as I said earlier, I would rather work with two crop sensor cameras or two full frame cameras. And since I don't have much space in here when I shoot my videos, I would rather use a camera that doesn't crop a full frame. Yes, it's true. I can use a speed booster on the Canon R7, but and it doesn't even get like 100% like a full frame when it do so, but close enough, let's say. But I can do that with EF lenses only. But if I want to use an RF lens, mm -mm. on the Canon R7, you see it cropped. And there's no adapter, no speed booster that can change that. So I'll keep making videos and content using also my Canon R7. But for what concerns work, I'm going to use the R6 and the R8. Even though the Canon R8 doesn't have two SD card slots, that's not a problem. Canon R6 does. And honestly, so far, it's never happened that an SD card failed on me with any of my cameras. And hopefully it will never happen. But since my main camera is the Canon R6, which has two SD card slots, not having it on the Canon R8, it's not gonna be a problem. So in the end, I'm not saying you should get a Canon R8. I'm just telling you why I prefer the Canon R8 to the Canon R7. And it's 100% because of the crop factor. That's it, and it's very personal. By the way, check the links in the description to see all my gear stuff and things, my gear, and check the link to Artlist if you want two months of awesome music and great sound effects. Two months for free if you subscribe for an annual plan. I think I don't have anything else to say, and I really hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, smash the like button and subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Oh yeah!